What's up YouTube, this is Coding for Noobs and welcome to your fifth Java programming tutorial. And during this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the while loop. So just to get started, um, I'm just gonna clear out our project of any code that we entered before because we're gonna be starting again from scratch. Now, basically how the while loop works is we have a condition and we say, while, while our condition is true, we're gonna execute a block of code. And basically this block of code is going to keep executing until our condition becomes false. So to get started, we're just gonna create an integer and we're gonna call our integer i and we're gonna set it equal to zero. And basically we're gonna make a condition for i and we're gonna loop until i is equal to 10. So our condition is gonna be while i is less than or equal to 10, we're gonna execute this block of code. So the block of code is actually between these uh, brackets, these curly braces, and pretty much what we're saying now is while our integer i is less than or equal to 10, we're gonna do whatever is in here. And just so you guys can see what happens, we're gonna do system.out.println i. So we're just gonna output our variable i, or integer i. So when we run this code, we'll see that it's just gonna keep executing because i is less than 10. And you see we just have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now I'm just gonna kill the process real quick by hitting the stop button and we're gonna fix this. So typically you don't want something to run in an infinite loop like that. So basically what happened is because i is always equal to zero and it's never greater than zero, we get stuck. To fix this, we're gonna actually have to change our, con not our condition, but our variable. So we're just gonna set i++. plus plus. And now, sorry, I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that guys. Uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, basically what we've done now is we've increated, we increased our variable i by one each time this block of code runs. So the first time it runs, i is gonna be equal to zero. So we're gonna print out zero. And then we're gonna increase i by one. So the second time we run, we're gonna have, okay, so first we have i is equal to zero, then we're gonna have i is equal to one because zero plus one is equal to one. And then the second time around, we'll have one plus one equals two. And it's just gonna keep incrementing until we get to 10. So when we run this, okay, we're gonna see it counts from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, basically your condition can also have multiple uh, conditions in it as well. So instead of just saying, well, i is greater than or equal to 10, we can add something else. So we can say something like, well, i is less than or equal to 10, we're gonna say, and i is greater than or equal to, or well, we're just gonna say, well, i is greater than zero. So now when we run this and we do i minus minus instead, it should only run once. Or not at all, sorry, because I forgot to do equal to. There we go. There we go. That was my bad, guys. So basically what happened here is when we started our loop, i was equal to zero. And during our first pass of this code block, we print out the value zero, so we have zero. And then what we do with zero is do i minus one equals negative one. And after this line of code happens, we bounce back up to here and we check this again. Is i less than or equal to 10? Yes, it is. However, is i greater than or equal to zero? And since negative one is less than zero, we exit the loop and we just come down here. And we just exit the program after that. So now that you have some basic understanding of the while loop, um, We'll be starting a new loop in the next tutorial, I think. I think we'll do the for loop, which is a little bit different. It's a counted loop, and I think you'll find that one a little bit more useful. Uh, this loop is useful sometimes, uh, depending on what you're doing, but it's also dangerous because, like I showed you when we first started, sometimes you can get stuck in an infinite loop, and 
the easiest way to see if you're an in, like not see, but the easiest way to show you an infinite loop is you can actually do while true. And what this means is while true, and it's always going to be true, execute this block of code. And all it's going to do is keep taking away one, and you see it's just going to count, 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 until we error out because i goes too big to be an integer. Which is going to take a while. Um, anyways, so when you get stuck in an infinite loop, it's actually typically it's very bad depending on what you're doing because it basically means your program's going to be stuck in this loop and you're not going to be able to do any part of your program anymore while this code's executing. Uh, there's certain cases where you want something like a infinite loop, like certain games require it. Like the main game loop would be like an infinite loop because you continuously want the game to update kind of thing. But for the purposes of our basic tutorials, I want you guys to try to avoid um, infinite loops. And if you do run across your code coming up to be an infinite loop like that, uh, if you want, you can actually post your code in the comments uh, and below the video, and I will actually help you fix it so you don't have or you don't run into the problem of an infinite loop. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this loop, uh, feel free to drop a comment. You know, I'm here to help you guys and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys succeed in learning how to program in Java. Uh, thanks for watching.